Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guess who's back? The pink hair is back. I have been dying to go back to pink for so long after I washed out my first batch of pink. Um, it's been so long since I was blonde that I was just like so anxious to try the colors. Like I just didn't want to settle and go back to the co this color even though I knew I loved it so much. So um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to like touch up my roots or if I wanted to lighten my hair or if I wanted to try another color before I did that again. So I got a little crazy and I went ahead and I tried uh, the like a semi-permanent lavender color. And it wasn't bad, I just didn't really like it because it kind of reminded me too much of like children's Tylenol or like cough syrup. Um, so I just started washing it out to get it out as much as possible and I got it out really quickly actually. Um, but it actually ended up staining my hair like green. Like my hair was blonde but it had like this green tinge to it all over. It was no bueno. So I tried literally everything that I could, did extensive research on how to get rid of it. Sorry I'm touching my hair, I just keep looking at the little, uh, like the little screen on the side to see how I like it. And today's just one of those days where like, no matter how hard you try, you just feel like, ugh, I don't know, that's how I'm feeling today. So, let me just position it already and such a chance. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, I, um, I did extensive research trying to figure out how to get this green out of my hair and I tried everything so that I wouldn't have to resort to bleaching my hair and nothing worked. I literally even did a bleach bath which is just a milder, milder version of like bleaching your hair. It's like bleach and developer but it's very diluted and very watered down with shampoo. Um, and that did nothing for my hair, absolutely nothing. So I actually had to go on and do full on bleach and uh, thank God that I was able to finally get it out. I did it as mildly and as gently as I possibly could to make sure that I didn't damage my hair. Um, and I was finally able to get it out of my hair, thank God. And I mean, there were some tiny, tiny, like little tiny, like, uh, strands that were still like a super, super pale mint green that you could only see, like, if you really focused on those little strands, which are all the strands that were, like, much paler because I had, like, a lila uh, highlights done before. Um, so, yeah, it was back to normal, so I decided I'm going to go back to pink. And I've actually had several people asking me how I got my hair this color, um, what color my hair was before I did it, and, uh, you know, what shade I used, how long I left it in for, the whole nine yards. So, I decided that if I'm going to go back to uh, doing pink, sorry, I'm touching my hair again. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, if I was going to go back to pink again, then I would just uh, record it and actually make the video, and I did. So if you want to know how to get this super cute rose gold, like smoky pink hair, then please just keep watching. So here are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need um, Ion's Color Brilliant Demi Permanent Dye in Smoky Pink. I wanted to dilute mine so that it was lighter from the get, so I bought two tubes of... Uh, the smoky pink and one in clear to dilute it. You're also going to need a developer no greater than 20 volume. I like the 18 volume without ammonia that um, Ion has because it's much gentler on the scalp and on the hair. Also, you're going to need the before, the pre-treatment, uh, the pre-dye treatment, pre-color treatment it's called. And that basically just ensures that you have even color throughout your hair because it gives you equal porosity throughout all your hair. You're also going to need the after color treatment which seals in and locks in the color. You're going to need a disposable uh, shower cap, uh, hair clips, a non-metallic mixing bowl, and a mixing brush. And not pictured, you're also going to need a dryer, a hair dryer. Okay, so uh, here I am. This is what my hair looks like without any color in it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drench my hair in this pre-color treatment. Um, this treatment also comes in a cream and a single-use packet. And I actually bought the spray bottle because I thought because it brings more product and it's uh, cheaper per ounce. But the truth is, the cream color, the cream treatment come goes a much further way. Like you use less product and it takes far less time than having to spray all over your hair. So I definitely recommend the cream version better. But yeah, I just drench that all over my hair and make sure that all my strands are just wet, like damp, basically damp. All right, and now it's time to mix the color. So I'm grabbing the smoky pink first, and I'm just gonna empty out one entire tube. I'm doing this in two batches, half and half, because they don't all fit in one mixing bowl. So I'm gonna do one tube of color and then half the tube of diluter. I 
And by the way, do not be frightened. All the pink uh, dyes always come out like this, white at the bottom, and then the very last bit of color is always pink. I've had, I bought several tubes and they all come out that way, so it's not like that they're old or anything. That's just the way they come. All right, so here's the diluter, and the bottle does show you all the quarter marks, the quarter, half, and three quarters, so we're gonna squeeze it all the way down to the half mark. So we know exactly where the half, uh, half a bottle is. All right, in a separate mixing bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out three ounces of developer. I'm doing a one-one ratio because I feel like the color is uh, like deeper that way. So it's one-one, so there's 2.05 ounces in each tube, and I'm pretty sure that the .05 is to account for whatever product is left behind in the tube. So really just two ounces. So two ounces from the pink and one ounce from the diluter, that's three ounces, so three ounces of developer. Now we're just gonna mix, we're gonna uh, pour that into the hair dye bowl and we're just gonna mix that up. Now it's really important that you mix this up really well because the dye is actually so much thicker than the developer and it creates like clumps and chunks so you really have to work in the dye and the developer together so make sure that you work out all the lumps and bumps first before you start using that in your hair and this is basically what it should look like all right so i chose to use gloves you really don't have to because this does not stain. it doesn't burn it it doesn't stain your hands or the, your clothes or even like the walls i've got it on the walls it doesn't stain so i part my hair so that i can do the front first and i part my the i part the front down the middle and i start doing like very thin strips of hair from the root all the way to the tips and i like to work that in there like really well i put it on my roots even though they're dark and they won't turn pink because um it actually ends up giving it like a pink hue like you can't see it it won't line my roots like it won't line dark hair and it won't make it pink but in certain lights you can see that it has like a pink hue to it and it just kind of makes the whole look kind of cohesive and it just uh blends it all together pretty well so i like to put it on my roots And then I do the same exact thing to the other side, and I just like to make sure that I have enough dye everywhere. Like, do not be stingy with the dye. Saturate all your hair with as much dye as possible. You don't want to have any splotchy blotchiness, not for lack of absorption, but for lack of dye. So you want to make sure that you get lots of dye, and you really work it in there. Now you're going to get the shower cap and put your hair in there. You're going to go ahead and process it under the dryer for about 30 minutes on low, and then you're going to wash it out with just some shampoo, just like I did here. And after that, you just put the post color treatment on and you leave it on for three minutes and then you rinse it out and you style your hair as usual. And that's it. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, um, comment below, share this video with any friends that you feel are looking for pink hair. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.